Hi, this is Tim Just, the 8020TD, 8THE80-20TD.com. Let's look at how to enter players into sections of the tournament in WinTD. Here's a tournament with a lot of sections. Some of these sections are going to be combined later on, but that's of no concern to you right now. Find a section that you're going to enter a player in. Uh, the A3 day looks good. Highlight it. By the way, you can change this later. It's really easy to do. Let me show that to you when I enter this player. Click on Players, Add a Player. The easiest way to enter a player is to make sure you have loaded the Golden Database or the database that you update every month with the supplement. And the easiest way to enter people from that database is to key in their ID number. Let me enter me. Yes, you can go to the USCF database. Yes, you can copy and paste individually each player. That's a lot of work, and we'll show you how to do that with the next player. Right now, I want to show you how easy it is to just type in an ID number, click on from USCF, and bingo, there I am. I can double click on my name, or I can click on OK. I like double clicking on my name. Name, ID, life member, state, rating, prize group. The prize group is if you're running a scholastic event, it's used most often to put the person's grade in there. That way when you later on generate a prize list, you can tell which fifth graders deserve trophies, which fourth graders deserve trophies, etc. Local rating, ignore that. That's going to be another video. Team code. My brother is playing and I gave him the team code JUST. By the way, you're limited to five letters on the code, I believe. Why am I doing this? When I set the tournament up, I set it up so no, we don't pair team members. By the way, you can also set it up to not pair club members and do the same thing with a club code. If this is an adult tournament and you're not entering a team code for a scholastic tournament, you have to remember as the TD to go back and get rid of the restriction on not pairing team, on not pairing club members with each other for the second half of the tournament. Those are the money rounds. If you're doing a scholastic event, you of course want to keep that set so they don't play each other for the whole tournament. Well, let's see. I have, oh, look at that. I want to change into the two-day section. I was wrong when I selected three days. See how easy it is to change it? I've now changed it. Assigning buys? Well, I want to buy round one. It's the standard half point buy. And my fee has been paid. It's important to click these boxes, especially if later on you dump these things into a file that can be read by a spreadsheet. Well, I'm entered. So how about I click on OK. Let me drag this up a little so you can see that. Let's enter another player. Player standing in front of me, and he told me his name. He said he can't find his ID number right now. And his first name is Bill. Well, this should work from the USCF database. This database is the one you've installed, not the one that's online. The one that's online has a lot more information. Oh my, this fellow told me his name was Bill, and I don't see any Bills here. Uh-oh. And that's the problem with entering names. Oh, Bill is now telling me his ID number. He's found it in his wallet. I told him he could look on his magazine label, but he didn't happen to have that with him. Let me type that in. Now let's go see if he's in the USCF database that we've loaded. Yep, there he is. That's the fellow I want. Name, ID, XOO, bad expiration date, rating, and oh, look at that. The team code's the same as mine was. He's not on my team. One of the quirks of WinTD is, is that if you put a team code in, every blank entry following the immediate time you put in that team code has to change either to nothing or has to change to a different team code. Well, let's deal with the fact that this person is not a current member. I like their ID number. 
copy it go to USCF uschess.org site and the way that you can get there to find out on their MSA if they're a current member is players and ratings and the player rating lookup click on the box right click paste it and now when you search you'll see that this person really has not yet joined USCF or rejoined USCF sometimes there's nothing here and they tell you you can't find the player at all well let's deal with that there are several things you can do at this point you can ask this fellow to give you a tournament membership that's good for that tournament and you'll be glad to return it to them if they join USCF before the end of the tournament or you can put their name on a list where they have to actually pay you the membership and you're going to enter it later on but that's another video let's see if we have everything we uh oh this is not an A player this person wants to be in the expert two days section they don't have any buys we're all set to go we're done entering players for right now Oh, what's that? This fellow now says he wants to change sections. There are two ways to do that. As long as you haven't paired a section, you click on the section they're currently in, click on P, find who they are, highlight their name, drag them to the section they want to be in. Notice they're gone from here. And now if you highlight the section you put them in, they're listed in that section. Oh, what's that? You want to change back? For the purpose of this exercise, we're going to let this fellow change back. We're going to highlight him and show you a second way to do this. The second way to do this would be to double click on his name and you're back to the original entry screen. You just change the section. Say it's okay. They're gone and they're where they belong. See this screen? this makes a real nice pre-entry list yep you just go up here and hit the print button oh you say there's things here you don't want to be shown and there are other things you want to see on here that's pretty easy while you have that screen showing you can go to the edit list change layout and if you want other items on that list you click on it maybe you want to see their team add it perhaps you don't want their prize group showing click on it remove it you can sort it any way you want. In fact, you can apply this to all windows. That's a real slick trick that's going to work if you want to dump this as a file that you can post on the internet. It'll make your life real, real, real easy. I like this, and I'm going to print it. I'll click on here. By the way, I think this is also a nice list that I can print on my site online and I can do it for all the sections that I want as long as it looks exactly like I want it to look at tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight all the sections because I wanna have all the sections posted online and what I'm gonna do is go to reports and I'm gonna export it to the web follow the directions after that just so you know where the file is and then post it to the web using your standard procedure. By the way, you can also go to File and you can export it as an HTML file after giving it a name. That's a little bit clunkier, but not much. You now have everybody that you uh, want entered in your tournament, save it if you forget to save your tournament before you go on you're just asking for trouble see you next time on the next video this is NTD Tim Just the 8020 TD small effort huge results